Hello everyone and welcome to my build. I don't normally ask this, but if you could give me a hand and hit the like button so that this particular video gets more attraction, I'd really appreciate it. So this is part one of a three part video. This will try to be a short video with a few of the details and features. Part two, we're gonna get a lot more technical. It'll actually be about the build, the safety, the specifications, any tips or tricks, how it's integrated with the original BMS, and using a secondary BMS for uh, the lithium to keep them, uh, the voltage is the same. So part three will actually be a compilation of these two videos, all the questions and relevant data will be collected so that any question that's answered in video one or video two will try to respond to all that are relevant in part three at several months down the road. And also if anything else comes up, any failures or any highlights, we can address those as well. So I've been planning this build for around six months now. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I could do it. My reservations, of course, were safety. I can't have my family in a car that's going to burst into flames while driving down the road. And it also needed to be repeatable. So, one thing about it, there's an original BMS. You can see a lot of the wires right here. Uh, this needs to shake hands and play nice with the original Toyota Prius's BMS, but also be able to keep the individual cell voltages all the same so what i end up doing was trying to keep to the original configuration of having blocks of two so what i ended up doing was created a 5s that would be a five battery series two parallel so 5s 2p per block and then this is all series connected so it's wound back and forth like a snake for a total of a 70S, so 70 series, two piece, so two parallel batteries set up, or this would be a 2.6 kilowatt battery, which is double the original 1.3 kilowatt ba bank and 224 volts nominal, which is slightly over the 202 volt nominal nickel metal hydride cells but they are easily charged up to 8 volts and their single voltage array would be 224 volts as well. So as far as the vehicle is concerned, it drives exactly the same. Uh, we just have double the capacity. The previous nickel metal hydride batteries were 15 years old and so I'd end up replacing a cell you know, one out of two in the block. And we'd have another cell pop up somewhere. So I just got these cascading failures. And it costs money. You know, those batteries aren't cheap. Uh, the total cost of this build, however, was $700, which includes wires, connectors, the two 35S BMSs, 35, yeah, 35 series BMSs, and also the batteries. And this gave me a double capacity uh, and a brand new battery pack, a refurbished battery using used cells is around a thousand dollars. And if I was to get a brand new battery pack, what well, you're looking at, you'd still have nickel metal hydride and it is tried and true. It's, you know, this battery has lasted me at least 12 years without any issues. So we'd end up with a new battery for, I think they're around $2,500. So this is definitely uh, a good investment for me. So here, what I'm doing is I'm stripping it back. I've cut off some of the connectors. Uh, that's irrelevant right now, but you'll see I've choked up. Instead of using the yellow crimp on the... Um, ratcheting crimper here I've chalked up on it into the blue and it takes a whole lot of pressure but I'm getting the best possible crimp if I had to do it over again 
I'd probably go with some hydraulic crimpers, but uh, these. All right, we're gonna take it for a little drive. Uh, don't have this covered up yet, so I'm not gonna take it very far. Just wanted to show you that all is good, and we are running on lithium. So I'm going to switch to uh, the camera that records the voltages. So I don't know if anybody noticed that the voltages showed 53 miles to a gallon. Don't put any stock in, in that. This was just uh, playing around, driving slow. But we're driving right now 16.1, 16.2. That's the difference between the highest and the lowest cell. I'm hitting the gas right now and I'm getting ready to mash it. Um, haven't seen any issues. The voltage does drop, but as soon as you let off the gas, it comes right, right back. All right, so we're mashing the gas now and we're taking our foot off the gas and voltage jumps right back up to the original. So now we got a little bit of a difference and uh, I don't know if that's perhaps the you know, some connector that's not quite tight or some connector that there's not enough touching, but there is a slight voltage. But if you consider how many cells there are, this is very minimal. All right, so we're driving down the car, the car down the road. We've got a couple of measurements that are going to be coming up. And those measurements are a, a high mileage for just driving around town. It was taken with uh, the engine already warmed up, and I was trying to be careful. So keep that in mind. You see the voltages are, are great here. We're getting ready to switch you over to when it had the original battery, but also notice right there in the triple three, there are temperatures. So there's three different temperature gauges there. Now, this video is the original nickel metal hydride. You see one of the voltages there that looks like it's uh, block seven. So that one was giving me issues, but I'd already replaced two or three. And, you know, it gets this gold pulling everything out, pulling the battery part and putting in a cell. So at this, at this point, I was ready to move on to the next project, just working out all the details, making sure that the voltages line up, that sort of thing. Um, as I was saying before, the... There's mileages coming up. Don't put a lot of faith in these mileages. I was just playing around. Uh, one is of city driving. The other one, I, I've taken it out into the highway. But again, I was being careful. I wasn't driving it like I stole it. But we'll get to some of those. Uh, I don't generally drive slow on the turnpike or in front of anybody. I don't want to be that guy. But we're going to get ready to have a part two. And then it'll get into the techno battle. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I did enjoy driving it and seeing such high mileages again. We had gotten down into the 33, the 38 range. I couldn't ever get it above 38. I guess it was just trying too hard to charge. But thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button. Leave any relevant comments you can below. See ya.